when we say occultism, we're not talking about cult. The word cult is, you know, that's some master or somebody over you telling you what to do. And we're talking about occultism, which means that which is hidden, or what you call the esoteric tradition. Now, to make ourselves clear on what we're talking about, we are supposed to be educated people now, so you must think on a much more advanced level. When we say that, we mean this for the people who are who's first time hearing me. For every organized religion, there is a mystical side in which the priests used to learn, which didn't have shit to do with what the everyday people got. The everyday people got moralism, which really has nothing to do with spirituality at all. That's just going to place blind, going through, going through a room blind, hoping you don't bump into nothing. And with, with good behavior, you might be able to get out of this thing. But there's another universal sign. So, in Judaism, the esoteric, esoteric which means which everybody learns, and the esoteric is which the priests learn. So in Judaism, the esoteric is the Torah, the five books of Moses, and what you call Judaism, which is coming out of Africa, you know. The esoteric is Kabbalistic, the Kabbalah, which is the esoteric Hebrewism. In Christianity, you have the Bible and the Christian thing, and then, uh, and then 12,000 different denominations. But the esoteric Christianity, which has been killed off, was Gnosticism. In Islam, you have the, you have the, 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 the Quran and you have Islam, but you have an esoteric Islam, which is Sufism, which is an actuality in its real faith, is more science. That's the real shit. Because Sufi means woolly-haired one. Sufi, woolly-haired one. So woolly-haired one was me. It was the more. So anytime you hear the crowd saying Sufism, that was just an adjective to explain. You see, the person is the more. A good book on the Lord, science, and on the Sufism, people of the secret. People of the secret. Ernest Scott, a must-read, a master of the English language. But he says, soup is in Spain. You know he's talking about the Moors. But soup means woolly-haired one. So the esoteric teachings of Islam is Sufism, which is actually advanced Moors science. Ancient Egypt, that's all esoteric because those are what you call ancient cultures. But your three major ones, so Buddhism, the esoteric Buddhism, would be your yogi system. The exoteric would be Buddhism. You must understand there's a difference between the esoteric and the exoteric. So if shit starts sounding strange, you must understand that you are dealing with the esoteric. You understand where I'm coming from? 